Hey everyone, welcome back to Muse Themes. My name is Steve Harris. Today we're going to have a look at the new website translator widget that we've just released. Now this ties into Google's translator system and what it allows you to do is embed a really kind of nice styled language selection system into your site. So see in the top right here we have this button that says select language. It's clearly been styled to match. We have uh, you know a matching stroke and text style. And if we click on it, it brings up a language selection drop down menu. And when you choose one of these languages, for example, Dutch, as you can see, it will convert all of the real text on your website into the language you've chosen. So you can see this box that said about us has changed. And of course, all the text down below has changed as well. So this will only work on on real HTML text, it will not work on image text. So of course, this is another reason why you always need to be using real text on your site. So let's go ahead and look at how this widget works and I'll show you some of the options for styling it. So I'll delete what we have in there out right now. Let's go to our library panel, scroll down to number 24, the language translator, and drag and drop it on the page. Okay, let me close this box so we have some room. Now let's go ahead and style this widget. Of course, we're not getting the live preview in our site. It's just the warning sign right now. This happens all the time with widgets. Uh, you'll need to preview it in the browser for a more accurate representation. So let's click on the file panel and see what we have. To start, we have the default page language. Just set this to whatever your existing web page language is. So right now our site was built in English, but we could set it to any of the 80 options that Google has available in here. Um, so right now we'll leave that there. Now let's look at some of the other style options. So this first kind of block here has the box background color and that's hex. So right now it's set to white, but of course if we went something like this, which is black, um, let's preview it in the browser. It's not going to look very good of course, but uh, I'll show you how it works. There, so now you can see the box is actually black, but of course we can't see our text within it because the text color is still black as well. So let's change that to white again. Okay, and now we have box padding. So the padding is going to just increase the space around the text inside the box here. So let's set that to something like 15, something fairly dramatic. And also let's check this hide Google icon. This lets you hide that little icon that you're seeing to the left of the box. It can be a bit of an eyesore and, and not really blend into your site. So now that we've made some changes, let's preview this in the browser. Okay, so we have the nice white background, the Google logo is indeed hidden, and that padding made this button just much bigger all the way around. Okay, now let's go ahead and let's change the font style. So we can change the font by, just by typing in a new font type in or new font name in here. So if we went something like Arial, for example, and then we could change the font color. So let's change that to blue. Okay, and then now the font size. So let's just select 12. And we'll preview that again in the browser. Okay, so you, now you can see we have a much bigger font size and of course it's using Arial and the text has changed to blue. So you can really style this button to match your site uh, with the basic Google Translator widget. You can embed it really easily in Muse, but you do not have any style options and we've been able to override all of those default styles. So let's go back in here. I'm going to change this back to Montserrat because I think it looks a little bit better. We'll, we'll drop the font size down to 10. And then the last option we have here is for showing or hiding the border. So we can turn off the border altogether or we can change the border width and the border color. So what I'm going to do for this widget is I'm actually going to style it using the same color that we had here for this kind of green. So this is the hex value for it select that and let's go ahead and apply that to the border okay we'll leave the background at white and i'm going to use this gray color in the site here this one as our text color okay let's select that and use that there okay there so now this should really seamlessly fit into the site i'm going to move it over to the right side and let's preview it in the browser there that looks great. I think uh, that looks like it was meant to be, other than maybe a little bit of space. I'd move that up a bit. But uh, otherwise, it looks great in the site, and I think it matches really nicely. So this is a really powerful translation system, and it's kind of one of the first that you're seeing out there for Amuse, um, especially one that leverages Google's translator, which is probably one of the best in the market. Another thing to note, too, is that you see this bar that comes up at the top that says Google Translated. Um, you can click on the Options 
drop down here and click manage translation for this site. And what this will allow you to do is kind of associate the site to your Google account and you can go in and fine tune the way that the translations are working. So if something's not translating it correctly, you can adjust that so that it does. So it's a great widget and I think it's going to work really, really well for a lot of international websites. Take care and let us know if you have any trouble. Cheers.